What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. My new name is always is Face Jasper. Uh welcome to this beautiful Wednesday. I think it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday, right? Uh but today I went uh deadlifting in the gym and I was thinking, hey, should I make a deadlifting video for the channel? And I asked you guys on Snapchat and like literally like 50 people are like yes please make a video on deadlift so i'm gonna talk to you guys with some footage from the gym today about deadlifts about the form i want to make sure to say i say this if you're gonna be deadlifting for the first time after this video please 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 make sure there is someone with you that knows how to deadlift. deadlifting is very dangerous when you don't do it correctly i just don't want you guys to get hurt so uh please 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 for the love of God, be safe. Have someone with you. Make sure you do it well. Maybe film yourself. You can see how you're performing it. Or have a friend record you. And, and so you can see after how you're doing. Uh, but it's very, very important to have a good form. So please uh, keep that in mind. I'm going to go over everything now. My basic tips. that Stuff that I've learned over the last five years. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Leave the thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Ciao. Go on, guys. See So first things first, let's just jump right into it. I like to deadlift on socks because it's more stable, it's flat, and it's the best way for my balance. Second thing, grip. You can either do a mixed grip, as you can see here. This is usually what I do if I do heavier sets, if I don't use straps. This helps you balance to getting up the weight. If you have grip problems, uh, a mixed grip also helps. Also, one thing that can help is straps. So if you don't want to do mixed grip because you're afraid of imbalances, get yourself some straps and make sure um, to use them. I would only recommend using straps though at the heavier sets. Don't do it at the light sets because grip strength is also a very good thing to train. Second thing, as you can see here from the side, my arching my back. I go to go from an arch to a straight back, as you can see, bam, and then I go up. This is very, very important. You want to make sure your back is always straight when you deadlift. Um, this is of, of vital importance. If you don't, don't have a straight back, you're going to ruin your back. Second thing, when you go to your second rep, as you can see here, I lower my butt again into the ground, make sure my abs are tight, making sure my back is straight, and before I go up again. So take your time, don't rush it, don't bounce it off the ground, just wait very slow and relaxed. Between every rep, place it on the ground, get yourself situated, and make sure you push it or pull it the right way. Second thing, well not, it's like the sixth thing already, is when you get over the bar over your knees, I want you to press your hips forward like a thrust, like a hip thrust. Um, this way it will get your glutes activated as well and you can really um, lock it out. Another thing I want you always to do is keeping your hands, your arms straight, completely straight. Uh, you don't want anything bending. You want to. You don't want to put any stress on your biceps, your forearms. You want to put the stress as much as possible on your back or legs or however you're exactly hitting it. Now, another thing I want to say is, take your time. Deadlifts is one of the heaviest exercises you can do for your body. It's a full body workout. Take your time for your heavier sets. Take like a three to five minute rest period. Again. I use straps for these sets because my grip strength is not up to my normal strength. So if I can go heavier uh, because my grip is giving out, I chose to use straps because it will help me progress. Um, it will help me go heavier without having to worry about my grip strength. Uh, I'm not built for heavy weights anyways. Look at my wrist. And then that's why I use straps. So this is the last set, 160 kilos for one rep. Here we go. It's still a little bit of a struggle, but I'm kind of happy with how I did. Just one rep though. So how I usually do my deadlifts, it's fairly easy. I go for three warm-up sets. So warming up is obviously very, very important. I don't have to tell you all the time, but warming up is so important. So I warm up three sets. I do like 135 or a little bit lower even, like 85 pounds. 
um, up to 135 for warm up. Then I usually do five or six sets. The first three of those um, are five repetitions. Then the last three or the last two, depending on what I do, is three to one rep. So this is more working towards a one rep max. Obviously, you don't want to do this every time you deadlift. So what I would recommend you guys doing is if you deadlift twice a week, if you do that, um, one time a week, try to go for a one rep. Don't go for a max, just work up to a one rep. And then that try to improve that over time. Don't go for a um, PR every week. Don't do that. The second day of deadlifting, if you do it in a week, is go for hypertrophy. If your plan or your goal is to get muscle mass, it's very important to also do hypertrophy. So more of like eight to 12 rep ranges. Obviously you have to lower the weight. This obviously comes uh, because uh, you can't do the same weight for eight to 12 reps that you did for one or two or three reps. Uh, so that's very important. If you just do it once a week, I would, I would suggest, this is what worked for me, is do one heavy week, and then a hypertrophy week, then a heavy week, hypertrophy week. But if you can, I would say try to do deadlifts twice a week. Uh, if you want to get better at it, want to get stronger at it, that's the best way to do it because you have it more frequent in your program. All right. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope this video was helpful for you. Again, if you go deadlifting for the first time, please, please. Please make sure you do it safe. Please make sure you have someone there that can help you or correct you on your mistakes because you cannot see everything yourself. All right? Leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Deuces! Whoa, that was kind of nice. <laughs> it was a uh, I zoomed like heel long I know. And I zoomed like heel long time. It's kind of slow. It's controlled. I didn't feel my lower back. But I definitely need a belt. Because if you want to go higher and heavier, I'm gonna need a belt because my little frail back is gonna break. Go.